You're very welcome, sir. Thank you. Again, I want to go back to the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Wa'abudullah and worship Allah and do not associate partners in your worship with him. So, I know by myself coming from a Christian background, being raised as a Christian here in the West, and also being a preacher at the young age of 16, teaching and preaching this particular doctrine. Yet at the same time, when I began to develop as a human being and become a man, I was uh, investigating Islam and investigated the oneness of God. And I was uh, taken away by the Quran's prevalent message that the Quran sends out to its readers is that there's only one God. And this is throughout the Quran from its beginning chapter to its last chapter that the emphasis for the servant or for the seeker of truth in the Quran is God. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he has not created the man nor jinn except for the only purpose of worship, ibadah. But this ibadah, this worship in Islam or in any other religion can be persuaded or misguided by the whispers and the deceptions and the ideas of Satan or the devil or Lucifer, whichever word you choose to give him, uh, can come along and persuade you otherwise in your worship of God, feeling that you are so sinful or you are such a bad individual that you will begin to say how bad you are that you need to go through another mediator in order to talk to God. Let me answer this call and I'll explain this in further detail, inshallah. Thank you for calling Islamic Perspectives. Yes, I'm trying to find out what's going on. Saying about this Quran, mm. I'm trying to see is that the right thing? What I should be doing as a lady? Okay, that's a good question, ma'am. Uh, so, what is your belief at this particular time? I, you know, I believe in everything you say. Alhamdulillah. So, the, the the best thing that I would tell you at this particular time, uh, and I'm and I, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Okay. And I want you to hear exactly what I'm getting ready to tell you. That it it is of great importance. That if Allah has brought you to this point, because the Quran says Allah is the one who guides. And whom Allah guides, no one can lead them astray. So it is the purpose of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this night, on this month, at this time, that he allows you to call to this show so that you can save your life and have salvation with Allah. So the best thing that you possibly can do right now is to bear witness that there's only one God who is worthy of worship and nothing else, whether it be a human being, whether it be a rock, whether it be a building, whether it be yourself or any other thing is worthy of worship except one God. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes, that's what I agree with. I'm trying to tell you. I, I'm, I'm going through a kidney problem. Don't know when I need to be on dialysis. Mm. And I'm trying to see, you know, what kind of faith, what is out there, what I need to be doing. This is, this is exactly what you need to be doing. You need to be Muslim, sister. This is the only thing that the Quran, Allah says in his book, that this is the only thing that is acceptable to him, is that you submit only to him. Okay, and that's what I want to do. I want to get myself right. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready to become Muslim? Yes. So, could you raise your right hand right now with me? Like you see me doing on the TV, just watch my hand, right? Okay, I got it. Okay. Now, I want to explain to you that when we do this, that every sin that you have ever committed in your life, Allah will forgive you. Okay. And that if you were to die from that kidney disease or that kidney problem that you have right now, yes, sir. you would enter Jannah. And Jannah in Arabic means paradise, that Allah would allow you to enter heaven. Okay. And you would enter it without sin. Okay. So you understand this? Yes. Okay. Is there anybody forcing you to do this? No, sir. You're doing this out of your own initiative? I'm doing it out of my own, trying to save myself. Okay. My kids, I got five kids. Alhamdulillah. Say this with me, sister. I will say it in English first, and then I will come back and say it in the, in the Arabic language. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is only one God. That there is only one God. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I'm bow, you say bear witness. Bear witness. I bear witness. That Muhammad. Muhammad. Is the slave. Is the slave. And final messenger. Is the final messenger. Of God. Now, I want you to repeat after me in Arabic, okay? Okay. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. 
أن لا إلا ها إلا ها إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله الحمد لله سيستر what I want to tell you welcome to Islam what I want to also say to you is that you have a computer yes sir okay I want you to go to this website www Yes, www. Alhamdulillah. Why Islam? Why Islam? Hyphen. Yes. Tx. Tx. Okay. Dot org. Dot org. And go to this website, sister, so that we can talk to you and give you the necessary information that you would need as far as Quran, as far as hijab, as far as all of these things that you need to learn. And it's also a class on Sundays downtown at the Dawa Center. This center that was uh, built by uh, Akeem Elijah, one. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Uh -huh. Yes, and you can go there at the main center also on East Side Drive and, and, and uh, get information as well about Islam. And, uh, and they can help me. Yes, they can. I do need help. They will help you, mashallah. Okay. Thank you. A sister, I want you to hold on so some brothers can talk to you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. He's Rabbil Alameen. Allahu Akbar. Surely Allah is the greatest, and Allah is the one who guides the Sarat al Mustaqeen. Alhamdulillah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His guidance and His mercy. That we don't know at any particular point in time when it is that we are to meet Allah. Today could be your very last day, your very last second, your very last hour, your very last minute to change your life and accept the truth that there is only one God. If you die as an individual believing that Jesus, believing that a rock, believing that a building, believing that a person, believing that a saint has the ability to answer your prayers and that you need to go to these individuals, then you die as a disbeliever. And Allah himself, God, has promised those individuals who deny the power of the Creator and his ability that they will be guaranteed Jahannam, hellfire. So I call to you brothers, and you sisters that are listening, you Christian brothers and you Christian sisters, you Jewish brothers and you Jewish sisters, and you atheist brothers and you atheist sisters, that you really think about your life and think about it in a manner that all of the things that Allah has provided for you, the eyes, the ears, the seeing, the ability to walk, the ability to talk, the ability to formulate words and speech, all of these are gifts. And Allah said he has given you this as an amana, as a trust to you. And how do you respect the trust that Allah has given you? You submit to the one who gave it to you and recognize that everything that you have, everything that you are at this particular moment in your life, wherever you are in your life, Allah is still in control. Allah sees your every need. Allah provides your every need in any manner that you are, are, are suffering or going through anything. Allah is there for you. So I want to go back to this verse in Quran. Do we have another caller? Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you for calling Islam with respect. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Ramadan Mubarak. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.